Hello everyone, it's Nikenji and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be cleaning out my closet, which is honestly long overdue being that the first day of summer just passed, but you know, I didn't have time, so we're gonna do it now. I'm going to be letting go of the old, bringing in the new, transitioning basically from the colder seasons to the warmer months, which again, I should have done a long time ago, but whatever, it's fine, it's fine. All I know is that it's gotten super difficult to find the pieces that I want to wear for the summer, for the warmer months, because I'm constantly having to look through this sea of thick materials like coats and jackets and yeah it's just it's just gotten out of hand so we're gonna deal with this today so before I even start cleaning my closet what I love to do is set my intention and what that basically means is I'm asking myself a few questions to get an idea of the types of styles that I want to achieve for my closet just for my overall fashion style making sure I have narrowed that down for the season <laughs> for the month to come. Also finding my inspiration for those styles, maybe sourcing them, whether it's Pinterest, online, Instagram, however you want to do that. Kind of having an idea, just having that reel in and narrow down the types of pieces that you want to rock during these months to come. Now for the second step, the letting go process, which I feel is definitely the hardest for me. And I'm sure it's the hardest for a lot of you as well. For that, I do love to follow the Marie Kondo method of decluttering, which basically I'm just grabbing something out of my closet and I am determining whether or not it sparks joy. During this process, I do like to make three piles. So I will have my yes pile actually staying in the closet. I don't even think it makes it to even a pile. And then I have the maybe, and then I have the no, but the maybe pile more than likely is not sparking joy okay it's sparking confusion so if you're thinking about it way too long more than likely it should be put to the no pile just say this helps me greatly especially when it comes to like letting go of my pieces and getting rid of stuff because there's nothing like holding on to things for so long and not wearing them and when i say let go i mean let go well i'm also projecting because um, there are several pieces in my closet that i've had for years and i've never worn i don't have the biggest closet so i can only do so much when it comes to like letting go and bringing in new things i have to let go i have no choice specifically this this step really helps me in this process. So when it comes to reviewing my closet items, aside from whether or not does it spark joy, you also want to ask yourself a few of these questions like, do you wear it often? When was the last time you wore it? Uh, honestly, those two questions should definitely tell you all you need to know. There was also one that I heard on TikTok, which I will say it was one of those mm moments like, mm, that's a real one. The one I heard on TikTok was, would you still love it if you were not taking a photo in it? Mm. Ain't that a mm mm moment? Cause majority of my life is pictures, okay? <laughs> it's pictures, it's capturing the moment, it's video, it's just always content. So imagine if there was no content, would you still love this item? That one really just, whoo, I was like, wow, we might actually get somewhere with cleaning the closet today with that question. And when you finally have that pile of the items that you're willing to let go of, donate to your nearest shelter or give to your friends and family, I'm sure sure they're gonna love it. It's better to be in the hands of someone that's actually going to use and wear it as opposed to just staying in your closet and collecting dust. So yeah. Number four is storage. What are you going to be using to store away your clothes and where, like what location in your house are you going to be putting this storage? Again, my house is not that huge. You know, it's not like I have a basement where I could just hide things away. I definitely have to be strategic in how I hide my winter and fall clothes or any clothes that are out of season. I actually put a lot of my storage under my bed or in that closet that I just never showed you guys in my apartment tour video on purpose. This is a closet. Y'all don't need to see what's in there, right? It's all, it's just a lot of stuff, <laughs> a lot of storage. Cause I only got two closets in here and that's more than what I could say for my other apartment cause my other apartment had no closet. So we just, we not gonna show you that. When it comes to putting away my stuff, I like to use vacuum sealed bags. Those are a lifesaver. They save so much space and I'm just able to fit a lot of stuff in there, which I love, especially for my coats. I think it's great for coats as well heavy duty coats, wool, fur, things like that. I think they're great for those types of materials. I like to use these storage bins that fortunately fit under my bed. My bed is a low bed, so I don't have the most space under there, but these bins fit 
perfectly. They just slide in and out. They have handles and they even have an extra kind of laminated top where I'm able to see inside as well and I could just get whatever I need and go about my business. So yeah, those are the things that I like to use when it comes to putting away all of my out of season items. Last but not least is my favorite part, organization. You're basically going to be finding all the different ways you want to organize your clothes to make it easy for you to find them when you need them. For me, I absolutely love color coordinating. There's just something satisfying about it. Basically try my best to color coordinate and also categorize the items within each color. Basically like my tops, you have your bottoms and maybe even a jacket. There are times I, I mix it up where I'll put jackets all on one side of my closet and then the rest would just be like my regular clothes. But yeah, ideally color coordinating all throughout that's my thing. I also love using these shelf dividers that I got from Amazon. They're great and they just do a good job of just dividing up the clothes that I need them to. <laughs> the way that I was using it for winter fall months is I was just having my sweaters in one area and then I would have my bags on another whichever but for this summer I'm thinking to just use it for like my jeans and maybe bags and whatever else comes to mind but yeah they're they're awesome. Storage bins are also great. I have three of them in my closet right now. One of them holds all of my workout gear. Another one holds scarves, head scarves and headbands and things like that. And then I have another one that holds like tote bags. So they've proven very useful. And this is actually like my first time using official bins for my closet. I actually don't have any shoes in my main closet, but I do store away my shoes in this Trones Ikea system that I have next to my laundry area. It holds a decent amount of like flats and heels, but not bulky shoes. For bulkier shoes like my boots, I like to store them in this pack system that I have here that holds like my jewelry and my bags. If there's space for it, I will put it in there as well. But ideally, I do like to keep them out of sight and if they can't be out of sight I need them to be in some aesthetically orderly way otherwise I'll go crazy. Well, that is the end of my closet cleanup video. I really hope it helps. If you guys have any sort of tips or suggestions when it comes to how you clean your closet that you wanna add to this list, leave them in the comments below. I am all ears to your suggestions. If there is any way to make this process easier and better and overall tolerable, please let me know. I also wanna add that all the links to the items I used in this video can be found in the description bar below. So check that out. And if you're looking for something specific or maybe furniture or something that I have in my house that you want to link to just let me know in the comments as well I'll try my best to provide you the link as soon as possible until next time guys take care bye <laughs>